Hey, yo. Hey, yo. D-I-Y. First video up today is from a genius mind, Idris Sandu. His official title is a technological design consultant and engineer. Age 13, he was an intern at Google. Age 15, he created his first app. Age 15, he also received a Presidential Scholar Award from Barack Obama. He's also responsible for creating NIP's virtual marathon experience. If you've ever bought marathon clothing and pulled up the app and then went to the back of the shirt and it showed a full music video of Nipsey's, he's behind that technology. I saw that he released something that represented the future of music, I absolutely had to watch. Let's call it a tabletop doll. Watch this. Oh, hey, thanks for making it out today. I'm just chopping up some samples right now, but. Are you just chopping up samples casually in that big ass office? It must be nice. Welcome to Spatial Labs. This is kind of our new space that we moved into. So the name of the product is called Lightfield. Very important to remember. Music has been evolving for the last decade. Lately, we've seen a lot of talks of generative AI and music and all that stuff. And at Spatial Labs, our gears have been spinning and spinning and spinning around ways that we could actually improve the workflow for artists and producers. I'm listening. And the device we've created is called the Lightfield. Imagine being able to make music literally anywhere without having to carry clunky NPCs or synthesizer modules in your backpack. I'm listening. I'm all ears right now. I'm listening. What else it do? Let's take a look. Just like that. And I can interact with it. Hey, yo. In real time. This thing right here. Pretty much a projector, it seems, that projects onto any surface an entire workstation. That's that's pretty cool. I wonder what else it could do. Hey yo! Hey yo! Browsing through my samples. Just like that. Can you imagine what my heavy y'all know me, I'm heavy handed. Can you imagine what my heavy handed ass would do in the kitchen with this? I piss my wife off every day. I'm like that's really tabletop beat making. Like that's that's out of here. Now what's also really cool about the light field is it allows you to experiment with a variety of different types of VSTs as well. This thing got VSTs. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at your new computer. That's all you take with you. No longer taking a monitor with you. No longer having to <laughs> bring your laptop that's unpredictable. This is now your new computer, your new MIDI, your new DAW, all in one. I was making a really fire beat, but it needed some level of piano in there, but I didn't have access to a piano. The light field, it's as easy as me tapping on synth. And there you go, I have a Hey, yo! So you got your piano keys right here with it as well. Full synth in there. I can just... I want to see more details in terms of what the back of it looks like, and I don't know if they show it here, but I don't see any chords coming out of it. There goes your chord management of the future. The light field works by transforming any ordinary surface, such as a table, into an immersive touchscreen that you can actually feel with your fingers. When he says you can feel with your fingers, how? Like, I wonder if it's pressure sensitive. I assume that it is. But if you could listen to a song and listen to it how you want it to, or more importantly, if you are a producer, an engineer, what if you could understand how that song was composed or made in a completely unique way? And the light field lets you do that too. Let's dive in. Whenever somebody is this genius starts smiling like that, you know something's about to come up. Ain't this copyright infringement on the hardware? No. If you look at this brother's resume, these companies want to get on the line with him. I think there's a reason why this video started off with him having the MPC too. You don't think that's product placement? <laughs> Who do you think wants in on this before anybody else? Who do you think got a presentation of this before we did? For somebody who, once again, was an intern at Google at 13 years old, I'm pretty sure he thought about copyright infringement. <laughs> I can simply swipe left. And as you can see, I already have uh, a song from my friend Tyler, the creator loaded up here. And as you can see, there's a button that says AI, artificial intelligence there. That means all these songs can be imported, loaded, and sequenced in real time. So let me get this straight. This light field can also utilize AI stem splitting with any song that is imported in there. Let's try it out. Let me just select what a day, for example. Just tap on it. it takes just a couple of seconds. Jeez. 
<laughs> Boom, I just unlocked the track. Let's get nosy for a second. So it has isolated the vocals and it's also an instrumental option here too. And some kind of record feature. I'm intrigued. And what's really cool is I can adjust the volume by just swiping left, going into audio interface. Hey yo! <laughs> there's an audio interface built into that. And there's volume control straight on your desktop or on your tabletop. Completely nuts. And bringing that down to I can turn it off completely. Pretty cool. And I can go back to instrumental. And if I wanted, I could actually just push to record and record my vocals directly on top of the beat. And you can record vocals into whatever you are working on right here. Where's the microphone? Is it all within the light field? And ladies and gentlemen, I don't see any chords coming out the back of this. Now that's a game changer. You could change the pitch, okay. Like this doesn't change just music production. This changes DJing and what a DJ experience can look like because you could literally be making a mix in real time at your dinner table while you got a kickback or while you got some kind of like you got friends over. You could literally be creating all this from your table, your your kitchen where you eat your damn food, your damn Taco Bell with the with the with the nacho stains on it. You could be sitting here. You got to clean that up first. You could be sitting down and literally giving somebody an experience off of your table. Now let's play the beat in reverse to see if we can find a really cool sample. Hey yo! And at any point, I can just click sample and sample that that I like. I like that one. I like. That. So in much the same way that you see hardware based producers when they're finding the chops that they want to work with within their pads he's doing this now all within the light field off of this table so now he's finding samples that he wants to use and utilize within that mpc emulator that is ugh. but i can actually have it loop just by tapping this button here and playing that sample again oh what I love the fact with Mr. Sandu is the fact that you can tell that he is someone of our world, of our culture. It's not somebody in here who never made a beat in their life, but has a brilliant idea and an opportunity to be the face of it. This is somebody who appreciates the culture, the art. Hats off. Doing this all from your table just feels this feels like what we always thought the future of production would look like. Most of like the cool futuristic cartoons were very minimalist. And this is like the embodiment of, of that minimalist approach. I love it. Let's turn off the loop. Let's enable another sample with the loop. Using the power of AI, you can get an almost instantaneous, perfect loop on any song that you import onto the light field. That's next level. What's up with it? This is all off the table. <laughs> hey, I made this off the table, fam. No help. Off the table. For real? You ain't made this off the table. Watch. I just know y'all asses ain't down there making beats on my damn kitchen table again. Sorry, mom. Take that shit outside. Now you're on the cement making beats on the street. I don't know how much it's going to be, but if you're able to afford this, it's probably still going to be a more cost efficient approach than our traditional way, buying a gaming PC and buying a MIDI keyboard, buying an MPC, whatever it is that you're doing, I'm blown away. These are the things that make me the most excited about what's to come and AI's role in all of that. DIYers. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Don't be a greedy. Peace.